the anterior and middle scalene and posterior scalene refer pain into the chest, usually in three prongs right here where my hand is, so there's pain referred here, and there's pain referred to the vertebral border of the scapula in the back. So sometimes beginning body workers rub that area really hard and prolong because there's pain there, but it's referred pain and working the referral does not help get rid of the pain because it's not the problem, it's just a result of the problem. And so the work needs to be done here. The thoracic outlet syndrome can actually come from the anterior and middle scalene where the brachial plexus comes out between those two nerves, goes underneath the clavicle, underneath the pec minor, and then down into the arm. And thoracic outlet syndrome has a very poor surgical rate. Many people that I've talked with have stopped doing the surgery because it doesn't work very well. Often people are looking for a um, extra cervical rib, a cartilaginous rib that exists there, but that isn't the cause necessarily either. Sometimes very thin people have the problem, but one of the real potential problems is the anterior and middle scalene that attached to the cervical transverse processes and attached to the first rib, pull the rib up against the clavicle, and I feel the thickness of this muscle right here, so I'm running across it. It runs down just like my finger is lying. This is the position of the muscle, and as I reach, by the way, right here you can just barely see the outline of the external juggler. So I'm going to slide under the external juggler, push the skin toward the center line of the body and anteriorly, and then I'm going to go into the belly of the muscle. Sometimes you'll feel lymph nodes here, and uh, don't push on them too hard, particularly if they're inflamed. So they're like BB-sized tiny little lymph nodes. And I'm right in the middle of the belly of the muscle, right where the motor end plate is entering. And this is where the trigger point should lie. One of the trigger points should lie for this muscle if it's there. And then the magic is... We're gonna find the bony landmark. So I put my hand on her scapula and I feel the inferior angle and I feel the lateral and medial border with my thumb and my index finger. I bring my hand up above, and because she's elevated her humerus about 40 or 50 degrees, one of the things we find is the spine of the scapula runs on a diagonal this way. So basically, I've got the spine of the scapula and the belly of the muscle, bordered by bony bits on either side of the scapula. So I line myself up. Because this is so painful, I go slow. I enter slowly. He'll already give me information. You're on. I'm on it. After you've done a couple of million of these, you get pretty good at finding the spots. But as with trigger points always, you search for the jump sign, not where the drawing is in the book. I'm going to hold for 30 seconds. I'm kind of futzing a little to get exactly right. Oops. Pilar just contracted against it. What again she is. This is called a local twitch response. And if you've got a trigger point and you irritate it, you'll often get a fluttering contraction of the muscle, and that's called a local twitch response. The referral pattern is down the arm and into the back of the